Le Titi de Paris is one of Chicagoland's great French restaurants. Michael Maddox is chef de cuisine under owner Pierre Paulin. An Illinois native, he attended Kendall College, then worked in Florida and Chicago. He studied with Jacques Torres, who may have inspired almond cookies and passion fruit custard. The passion fruit custard calls for both puree and passion fruit pulp. The mixture will be brought to a boil. Bring that to a boil. Meanwhile, two eggs are combined with four ounces of sugar. It's real similar to a creme anglaise, but you use the puree as your milk. Get Kim to boil and temper it into the bowl. Make sure you clean the sides, all the sugar and the eggs off. And turn it back to the stove. You're going to bring it back to a boil. The custard was cooked and stirred constantly, then strained over an ice bath. Then a hydrated gelatin leaf is added. And while it's still hot, I'm going to add the uh, bloom gelatin. Take out the cold water, rinse it, and add that to it so it melts in. Granulated, unflavored gelatin can be substituted. The whipped cream I've already whipped. I'm just going to add, cool down the, the passion fruit mixture here, and then I'll fold in the whipped cream. The cream is added in two batches. Just incorporate about halfway. And just finish folding it in. You don't want to whisk it, you just want to fold it gently. Just incorporate it real light. Refrigerate until service. Meanwhile, the cookies are started with orange zest, which will be added to the dry ingredients, flour and powdered sugar. Nice and fine. Extract all the flavor by cutting. Then fresh orange juice. The almonds, rather than just using sliced blanched almonds, I did that, but I also toasted them off, give a little more flavor to it. And you can put them in a Roboku to crumble them up, but you don't want them real fine. Just a couple of seconds in the Roboku is all you're going to really need, or a food processor. I just do them by hand. Put them in a plastic bag and just smash it up a little bit. And the melted butter I need. And the melted butter. And a little bit of grand Marnier. Give a nice little more orange flavor. And as this cooks, it's going to spread out a lot. So you don't want them too close together. So six to eight for sheet pen. And I'm really about making a perfect circle because I'm going to cut them when they're still warm out of the oven. The cookies are formed on a silicone sheet and are baked at 350 degrees until golden brown. If you try this dish, you'll have to visit the hardware store and the grocery store. The chef uses a paint sprayer, a butane torch, and drill bits for the spun sugar. It's half chocolate, half cocoa butter, and the fat gives a nice little design to it. For our plate. Banana slices are sprinkled with sugar and caramelized with the torch. With the spun sugar, it's uh, using half fondant, or like icing, like for danishes, and half uh, glucose, similar to corn syrup. You put them together, bring it to about 150 degrees, and it's like a comb 
which we use, you know, we use the, you know, use the whisk or a lot of nails in it. Make sure it's really hot. And I have two poles that have been sprayed with a non-stick spray. You make sure it's really hot. And it's a back and forth sweeping motion. If not done correctly, you could have the sweetest floor in town. The first layer of a Napoleon is the passion fruit custard and banana slices. We're also going to do a little bit of uh, sponge sugar on top of it when we're all done. Note the presentation includes a cornucopia made from the warm cookies and filled with the custard. Then a flower, outlined in chocolate, is filled in with creme anglaise and fruit purees. Thank you.